Okay, so in this video, I want to introduce collagen. Okay, so let's take a few notes about it, a little tidbits that we should be aware of, that collagen is the most abundant protein in the body. Okay, and so obviously it's important because of that. Now, it's a specifically uh, important because it's a major component of connective tissue. And just some examples of, uh, of connective tissue um, or where connective tissue is important. Skin, bones, cartilage, ligaments, tendons, uh, blood vessel walls, and also um, in the eye, the sclera and cornea. Okay. Now, collagen is specifically a fibrous protein, and most different types of proteins are globular proteins. Um, but the most abundant protein in the body, collagen, is a fibrous protein. And so it's um, long and rod-like, or rope-like, some people say, um, uh, made up of little fibers, okay? And uh, it's important because it provides structural support for cells and tissues, okay? Now, there are a bunch of different types of collagen, and I'm going to talk about some of them here. Uh, I think there are over 20 types, okay? Uh, but I'm definitely not going to talk about the 20 different types of collagen in this video. I'm actually going to talk about four of them. So let's go ahead and get into them. First up is type 1. Now, type 1 collagen is kind of what people think of classically when they think of collagen. They think of this thick, rope-like form, um, which you can imagine if you, if you were to take, I don't know, three bits of yarn or three pieces of string and you kind of wrapped them around each other and twisted it really tightly you'd get something that looks like collagen, okay? And it's actually made of, um, uh, as far as type one, it's, uh, it's a triple helix, and we'll talk more a little bit more about that later, but, um, and, but it, it might be worth noting that when it comes to type one collagen, it's made up of the three little, three little um, polypeptide strands wrapped around each other, and with, when it comes to those three polypeptide strands, two of, they're called alpha chains, and two of them are alpha one chains, uh, and then one of them is uh, an alpha two chain when it comes to type one. Okay, I'm not sure how important that is, but you might find that to be uh, of some sort of significance. Okay, um, type one collagen is the strongest type of collagen. Okay, so it's pretty important. It's also the most abundant type of collagen. Okay, it makes up about uh, ninety percent or so of all of all collagen. Okay, and it's uh, found in a bunch of places, including the bone, skin, tendons, ligaments, fascia, teeth, cornea, mature scars, mature scar tissue, and also the blood vessel walls. Uh, bone is probably pretty important to remember, uh, as well as uh, tendons and ligaments. Um, and teeth and cornea, that, that's, uh, that comes up here and there, so it's worth noting. Also, it's important that when it comes to scars here, we, we think of mature scars. So it's not... Um, it, it, it's primarily exists when scars are like done forming. Okay, so when scars are initially forming, you have a different type of collagen. We'll mention that in just a moment, but um, mature scar tissue has a lot of type one collagen in it. Okay, uh, one way to remember this, um, that the bones are there, is that type one has bones, um, and the word one is in bone, O-N-E, so type one, bone. Okay, um, also worth noting, like I said, uh, the cornea and the, and the mature scar tissue. Cool. Um, now there are some disorders associated with type one collagen, and uh, we'll talk more about them later. But Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, or EDS, as well as osteogenesis imperfecta (OI), or uh, also known as brittle bone disease, we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, later in the series. Okay. So uh, that's basically it for type one. Okay. Next up, type two. 